If you run a business or have a profession in which you have to deal a lot of people on a daily basis, then you must need to maintain the document of all the visitors. Now, it's a huge hassle of maintaining Excel files on a daily basis. So, in order to get a relief from this hassle, a visitor log application is a very better option. Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Agap. So, in order to build a visitor log application, you don't need much high coding because the visitor log app can be created in our Power App. And this app will be much advanced and more functional rather than your Excel file. Before moving further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we are going to create our visitor log app in Power Apps with SharePoint as our data source. Secondly, we will create three screens. One screen will be used for adding and editing the visitor data. Second will be our visitor log dashboard. And third will be our live tracking dashboard. And we will create a bar graph for better understanding also. So first, here I will create a new list, blank list. I will name it logs. Then I will hide the title column. I will create a new text type column, which will be name. Then another text type column, which will be company after that we will take a number type column and store the phone then we will take our choice type column and create purpose here i will write delivery meetings and inquiry default choice we will set it to none then date and type column will be check in time i will include the time also similarly i will create check out time include time and save now here we have created our logs sharepoint list i will add a new sample item so here i will add a sample record then i will select the choice the check in time and i will keep the checkout time as blank now first we need to edit here now here i will write my third choice which was inquiry then save so here we have created our sharepoint list and added a sample record now we need to create our application so for that i will go to my power apps here i will create a blank canvas application i will name it visitor log app then create now in our screen one I will change the name to logs dashboard then I will take a vertical gallery now I will select SharePoint after selecting my SharePoint site I will select my SharePoint list which is logs now I will adjust my layout increase the font size I will decrease the label width then copy paste then again copy then again paste now here I will show my company I will increase the length here then after company my purpose dot value after that check in time here now i will add a rectangle here decrease the size of my gallery drag it a little down place here add a text label it will be name font size i will give it 17 font weight semi bold font color will be our white then i will adjust after that this is our label i will copy the same label and paste paste again now in the text i will write check in here is our purpose then our company i will copy the rectangle paste then copy our label paste here this time i will increase the font size and it will be bold in the text i will write logs dashboard now this is our logs dashboard now we need to create another screen for adding and editing our logs. So for that, I will go to tree view, create a new screen, select a blank screen. I will copy the rectangle, paste here, then copy the label and paste here. Here, I will write log detail. Now I will change the screen name, which will be log detail. After that, I will insert an edit form, select the log. After selecting our list, here are our fields. We don't need title, so I will remove it also we need to increase the form size so here we will add a button this button on select will submit our form which is form one then reset our form same form one and navigate to back to our logs dashboard so here we have added the action on our button but we need to do some validations first now here in our check-in time we don't need to add manually the check-in time as whenever our record is created now here in our field check-in time whenever we add a log we want the check-in time to be selected by the current time automatically so for that first we will go in our main screen here i will select and add icon move it here now in the add icon i will select on select action and here i will create a variable which will be where form it will be type string and new and navigate to our log detail screen now i will copy this action and in our arrow i will paste here instead of new here will be our edit now we have set our variable so we will go to our log detail screen and here first we need to change the form mode so if where form is equal to new then form mode 
will be new else it will be edit also in the item we need to add our lookup for editing i will select my sharepoint list which will be logs where id is equal to our gallery dot selected dot id so here we have added our add and edit now we want to show the checkout time only when we are editing the log record so in the visibility i will select where form is equal to edit now in our check-in time here first we will add our condition default date here i will write if where form is equal to new then the date will be today and current date i will copy this and in the time in the default i will paste here now in our time i will add a comma here and first i will write if where form is equal to new then it will select today so if we have added our condition so it is text so i will write text and then select the format which will be yy yyy y m m d d so here we have added our condition of where form again now here also in the default i will copy the same copy paste then close now we want to hide this field so visibility will simply be false now done now we will add our back arrow on select i will navigate to my log detail sorry my log dashboard log dashboard and my color will be white now before doing this we have forgot to do one thing we need to add validation so first we need our name to be required so i will search here required and i will set it to true as you can see here is a star also in our phone required will be true let me unlock it required will be true also we need the user to enter 10 digits for the phone number only so for that here in our tree view in the phone error message 4 i will select text parent dot error before that i will write colace then if let me select the data card value data card value it will be 4 dot text let me add again length of data card dot value dot text is not equal to 10 then we will get number or phone number should be 10 digits here we have added the condition the phone number should be 10 digits also we want to change the border color of our text box so for that i will select border color instead of parent dot error i will write error message 4 dot text also in submit we don't want to submit if the phone number is less than 10 digits for that i will select the display mode here first i will write the if condition here the text i will copy my this condition and in my button I will add a comma first then add a comma again here i will write display mode dot view after close here let me remove this and now it's set also on our form success we want a success message so here i will write notify log let me add double quotes log saved successfully notification type will be dot success and duration i will set thousand ms now it's all set so let me preview it here i will preview if i submit i cannot because my previous record has the phone number of nine digits now when i add a number my issue has been resolved and my submit button can be used after clicking submit here my log has been saved successfully now to remove that from the default here we will add one more condition i will write and not is blank our data card value 4 so here it has been removed when we are adding our new record so now i will add another i will add the phone number if i add a number here we are getting our validation message so i will add the 10 digits now the error has been removed now i will select the purpose and click on submit also in the submit we have selected the navigate but it's the wrong navigation it should be to log dashboard then if i go back here i select edit and here we can edit the checkout time now i will select the checkout time here and click on submit so here our data has been updated for checking we can add another here i will paste this will be our check-in time and here i will write checkout time so now we have our checkout time here in the label i will write check out so as you can see our form is working perfectly now we want to add some filters here so first i will add a drop down let me add a drop down here here i want to filter it with our purpose so here in the drop down i will select the item instead of drop down sample i will select meeting delivery inquiry and in the last i will add all now in our gallery i will add a filter where purpose dot value is equal to drop down dot selected dot value now we will add an if drop down dot selected dot value is not equal to all then filter else it will be locks after formatting i will check our filter here so 
if I preview, when I select all, I can see all records. And if I select according to the purpose, we are getting the purpose wise records. Similarly, we can want to add searching here. So here I will take a text input. I will keep it blank in the hint text. I will write search name now in our gallery condition i will write search then first name sorry i will write text input one dot text comma name and close text input one dot name so after that i will preview and if i search here write as then here our searching is working perfectly so this is how you can implement filters in your application now we have created this now we want to display the records according to the live tracking it means where check-in date is current date and checkout date is blank so for that first let me edit this one here i will set let me add it check-in date one submit now as you can see there are two records here in first record the checkout date is empty and in the second record the checkout date is not empty so we will create a live tracking dashboard so for that i will duplicate my current green now here we don't need our filters i will remove this and i will remove this now in our filter condition we need first our check-in date which is check-in time text check-in time format will be y y y y m m and dd is equal to text today comma y y y y m m d d so here we have added our condition as we have added our first condition which is the check-in time should be current date and checkout time let me add the checkout time is black that means it doesn't have a checkout time so here i will complete the bracket and form it now as you can see here we only have those records which have the checkout time blank let me change the name here you can keep the ad and edit if you want here i am removing it from this screen this will be our live tracking dashboard and i will change the screen name i will name it live tracking then i will add our arrow here then i will copy my arrow create a new blank screen first i will copy this paste here similarly i will copy the label here i will name it log application now i will add buttons i will increase the button size place it here this will navigate us to dashboard in the on select i will navigate to our log dashboard now i will copy and paste here the label will be live tracking which will navigate us to the what was the page name let me see it again it was live tracking here i will write live tracking then i will copy the arrow here paste this will navigate to main screen which will be screen 3 copy this i will go to my logs dashboard paste here now we also want to display a bar chart here for that in our live tracking screen i will remove the check-in time and checkout time because here we are seeing only those record whose check-in date is current date and check-in checkout time is blank let me reduce it a little more now also we want to display a chart so for that i will take chart i will select the column chart here after that i will simply place it here so i will remove this as we don't need this now in our column in the column chart sample i will change i will write add columns because we need purpose here so i will write logs i will create a new column which will be purpose name that is purpose dot value now we have this we need to add group by so for that here i will write group by comma which will be our purpose name comma group log now if i see here you can see the table record now we need to use add column again for displaying the label so here i will write add columns then it will be total comma count rows this record dot group log after close when i preview it here we have single single record of delivery and mating we need a space between them let me add a gap of 10 i will drag it increase the font size now in the tree view here in the title i will write purpose so here we can see our record let me change it i will change the label angle now it's been created now i will go to dashboard create another one phone number then i will select another purpose click on submit now if you go to your live tracking you can see there are two records here and our bar chart is being updated so this is how you can create an advanced and fully functional log application so in this video we learned how to create a log application in our power apps with the sharepoint list also we set our check-in time to the default today because every time the required is created it should get the current timestamp next we added our form validation in our phone number field and then we added filters in our gallery and after that we created a bar graph to display the records by purpose thank you for choosing know-how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.